This is Anderson Pence Podcast, really? episode 309 for Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. This is Brian. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is Lisa. Who's right there? I just found something out that's just... Wow. You suck. Because you don't share. All right. Hit, you, hit me with this bad all right, joke. So, all right. What do you call? Not you. I'm not. <laughs> What do you call a group of chess players bragging in the hotel lobby? I don't know. Chestnuts boasting in an open foyer. <laughs> All right, that's not bad. That's, that's, that's not bad. See, right before we started, Brian has this book of dad jokes. <laughs> And it says the good, the bad, and the terrible. And um, so now I'm just going to ask: so which one is it? Is it going to be a good, a bad, or a terrible? You know, that wasn't that was acceptable. Yeah. That was like the first one that's been moderately yeah. funny yeah. in a long yeah. time. I don't think it, it wasn't in this book. I didn't get it from this book. It might be oh. in there, but all right, it's not on. So anyway, wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. Uh, show is over. <laughs> We're done. Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to tune in next week. All right. Go. Uh, so we got, uh, we're getting ready for the LA show. Yes, we are. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute, but we want to run down a couple of things that we're leaving behind. Ooh. Uh, we're not taking with us. So those of you who can't attend the LA show, uh, we've got some goodies here for you to look at. Um, first off, we've got a group of experienced sailor and platinum pens. Uh, actually, Sailors and a platinum. There you go. Uh, things that have been dipped, um, tested at a show, um, in excellent condition. You know, they're all with boxes, converters, all yep. that. So you you, that you couldn't stuff. tell the difference. And some of these, we, we just can't get. Even though they're current production pens, um, they've been on back order for a long, long time. Year and a half, maybe, on this one here. The, uh, the Pro Gear Slim and the Metallic Summer Green. Uh, really a super killer killer, killer color pen. yeah killer, killer color, color. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a frambois uh, that one the, the next one is not the, the minute you put it up it'll be gone persimmon the persimmon red yes um, in the pro gear slim and then the metallic purple uh, some of you may remember I had a whole set of four different ones the metallic purple the blueberry the purple lame and the purple cosmos, purple cosmos. yeah so uh, and these are all uh, priced accordingly. Um, pretty nice discount off of MSRP, off of the regular street price. Uh, we've also got uh, 1911 Standard in Anchor Gray. Yep. Um, we I have, thought that sold. Uh, I'm sorry, 1911 Large Anchor Gray. Um, and we have um, a Platinum uh, Kanazawa Leaf uh, Classic Machie Moon and Rabbit. That's a uh, cool one. 18 karat medium nib on that one. Uh, and I think, I think that's it. Uh, did I miss one? I don't know. Uh, Ad lib here while I'm looking through the pile. No, I think yeah, that that's was it. it. That's it. So, <clears throat> um, so anyway, so, some nice uh, sailors, good nibs, um, ready to go, converters uh, and cartridge in box. So All that good uh, stuff. All that good stuff. Cool. So we've got those. All right. Um, what else you got? We've got a couple of vintage pieces that, that aren't going to make it to the show. Um, <laughs> First, I thought you said they aren't going to make it. Like, doctor, they're not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> these are just these are just things that would sit on my desk. I said, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of seeing stuff on your desk. It's Listen, like I'm working. These I'm things gonna, multiply. Last night, I don't what, get what this. happened last night? I brought up how many pens did I, I bring packed. up last night? That's what happened. I brought 10 pens up last night. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's excellent. It's very good. Oh, come on, good man. job. Give me some credit here. Look at this. Isn't this cute? It's adorable. What this is, is it? a Parker Jotter. Okay, that's a cool vintage. pattern. Vintage. It's it's actually this looks look, looks like to be new uh, new old stock in the original box. It's got this this kind of a turquoise barrel with a really cute white with little what do you call that? Like a little star. It's sort of like a little star. Yeah. And then it's it's, it's very cool. And uh, then it's chiseled on the top. Did you need to do anything to that? No, it's a Jotter. 
Okay, put a so refill you didn't in really it's good. Repair Actually, that. well, no, I just found it. Um, <laughs> it's called the Tiara Jotter, and it's in bright blue, and it was it was two ninety five. On... Justin, do you want to sit here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you didn't repair it; you just found it. I wiped it off, cleaned it up, made sure the refill works. I'm just still concerned that you're just finding these things. Like, well, welcome to my life. How much more is down there? How much there? more? How much more do we have? <laughs> this lovely set. I don't remember where we got this. Look at this Which box. Which is uncommon. He remembers where we got everything. Usually. Uh, look at this box. Is this box not really cool? Snakeskin. It looks like snakeskin. It says Waterman's on the top. And you open it up and like uh, with, with most, most classic boxes, you know, this, this little loop here gets a little stretched out. But I've got a nice Waterman Skyrider set black with chrome caps um, this is an unusual waterman in the fact that it's got a steel nib but basically new old stock ready to go i uh, put a new sack in it just to make sure we're we're good for the next 50 years but it does come with a matching uh matching capped ballpoint oh well, that's cool uh, for the life of us we were unable to find an existing refill that actually fits so okay um and is that in the description it's going to be in the description yeah okay yeah, so refill doesn't work. Refill Good luck doesn't finding work. One. Good luck. I mean, you, we, you probably could modify something to make it work, uh, but it comes anyway. It comes in this beautiful box. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good writing pen. It's a cool box. It's a nice pen. It's a Waterman Skywriter. You know, I think I'm going to get into pen boxes. You're going to get into pen boxes, huh? Yes. You had a thing for nib boxes for mm -hmm, a while. Mm -hmm. So I do. think I'm just going to collect boxes. What kind of boxes? Funky, cool boxes. Pen boxes? Yeah. Nib boxes? Whatever. 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 Well, I've got a bunch of boxes downstairs you can look through. You can get them out of my side and put them on your side. How's that sound? No. Um, one more one more thing we should note. Um, Sailor Saibi Togi. So some of you may remember this, uh, this particular nib, this pen. This is the Ultra Extra Fine. Formerly bespoke only nib. Yes. It's a point. What it's, is it? A point one? Two? I don't know. It's... There are no words. It's microscopic. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Flip it over, it actually writes kind of like a medium, but it's it's the finest nib on the market. What do we call it? The Thomas pen? Yeah, something like that. Um, hey, Saibi, Saibi Togi, it, it used to be bespoke only. It came out a couple of years ago in a Pro Gear Slim in a very lovely color. Uh, it has now been discontinued. Yes. Uh, we are out of stock of the pen in the red body. Why am I telling you this? Well... We have a nib that can go in any Pro Gear Slim 1911 standard with rhodium trim. So Fresca, Anchor Gray, slate. Royal Tangerine, Slate, um, you know, you name it. We, you know, we'd love to put it in a slate for you. Uh, just let us know if, if there's interest and we can make that happen for you. A um, little bit of an upcharge for that nib since it's kind of scarce, but uh, um, we have one Saibitogi nib left. Yes, so. and it does come with the uh, the little cleaner and yep. everything. Yeah, it'll come with the little yeah. the little cleaning rod. Uh, basically, what it is, it's a it's a little plastic tube with a piece of uh, uh, basically a brass sheet, aluminum foil in in the end, and so to help you clean out the tines because it is such a super super yeah. Super if you use it anything fine. other than smooth paper, you're going to catch fibers. So, yep. Um, Saibitogi officially discontinued. So, Valentine's Day gifts. Um, I'm just going to confess now, privately. I, privately with all the yes, thousands of people. with all our watching. friends. Do I have a gift for you? You do not have a gift for me. Oh, crap. Which is both good and dangerous. And we're going to a show. We're going to a show. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest shows in the country with Sarge and tons of people with... Mm -hmm. Crap. Rob Lott. Rob Lott's always very good. Oh, he does. All right. So. Do you have a gift for me? Uh, my everlasting devotion. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And coffee on weekends. Okay. I'll buy you a cup of coffee today. How's that sound? But to live, That's like, my Valentine's Day gift? Like Ladies, help I, me out. What the I heck? Know. I don't know. All right. So we do not... We don't have Valentine's Day gifts. Well, Okay. So I'm, if I see something I want, I tell you what, if I see something that I want, oh God. I'll let you know, and then we can have the discussion. 
How's that <laughs> it's going to go like this. Honey, I found, insert anything Honey. expensive here. And my answer is going to be, hell no. See, I'm glad we <laughs> had this discussion. I'm glad we had this discussion. <laughs> All right. Um, Inko Rimo. How you doing on that? <laughs> <laughs> Here, you know, here, let me let me start on Inko Rimo. Let me get my. You keep talking. <laughs> so, Brian and I often will work the Appleton store on Saturday. You're cheating. I am not cheating. All right, then while you're talking, I'm going to do the same thing. And I actually brought um, a handful of note cards to the store on Saturday because usually we spend the first couple hours packing and shipping. And then if we have no customers, that doesn't count. It counts. If we have no customers, then we'll work on the website or other things. And it was busy. <laughs> That's harsh, man. <laughs> so I'm working here. Yeah. And I didn't have a chance to uh, work on my Inco Rimo notes. And then we got home and got into she didn't bring them with her. LA mode. And I didn't do anything with it. Well, we so are, we're gonna it's be... it's going really poorly for me, which is about par for the course. You know, I think we need we need to start dealing with this like around Christmas time. Oh, because that's slow. I'm yeah. going to do it in July. December twenty sixth. You're going to do it in July. Yeah. Inco Rimo July edition. I'm going to write them all in July. <laughs> Dear so and so, I really value our friendship. I love you. Talk to you soon, and then save it. Save it. it. You're going to save it. I'm going to save it. But what happens? What happens if something happens? Well, if I'm writing to my, my best friend, Michelle, that my feelings for her are not going to change. And well, I do love her. Hear, I do so miss her. Don't you think she'd want to hear from you sooner than later? How's it going for you? I wrote, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> just... What? That, anyway, that does not get, anyway. All, going badly for the us. The month Thank of you. February, uh, use your pens, write uh, one, uh, one card, note, letter, uh, what have you, a day. Um, Hi, honey. I love you so much, Brian. You don't have to read it out loud. Two hearts. It's two hearts. Two hearts. Yeah. Two Past hearts and future. Beat as well. <laughs> <laughs> or the last two that I have left. I don't <laughs> know. Two heartbeats um, ever. Anyway, Inco Rimo, a month of February. Uh, get us your pens, use them. Incorimo.org. There you uh, go. LA Pen Show. LA Pen Show is this week. Uh, starts tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, sunny wait, LA. Wait, wait, wait. Starts tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? How does that work? Yeah, because today starts Wednesday, tomorrow, February 13th. Comma. Okay, well, th <laughs> thank you, Miss Editor. Just, well, it was just starts I'm tomorrow, just, Thursday, Friday. Like, I'm confused already. Listen, I have had hardly any coffee today, so I just know. don't. All right. Thursday, I'm on the Friday, edge here. I'm on the edge. Saturday are trading days. <laughs> Buy the weekend trader pass. Do it. It's pricey, but it's so worth it because Sunday is just chaos. If any of you out there have ever been, and you have to be a certain age, um, it's like Black Friday shopping was back in the 70s. It's just elbows and knees and people fighting, or like Black Friday is at Target. It's Five in the morning. It was just like it, it hadn't changed much. It's only gotten worse. So, Black Friday. When's the last time you went shopping on Black Friday? I went shopping on Black Friday like seven, eight years ago. <laughs> Not since we've been married. Nine or ten years ago. Not 11, since we've been together. <laughs> we've been together a long time. <laughs> Maybe we should rethink this. <laughs> LA Pen Show is phenomenal. Um, a lot of the international vendors come to this show. Um, a lot of the distributors are there. Uh, so you get to see some of the new stuff. Spring is the time that uh, vendors choose what to discontinue and they bring out their new stuff. So you get to see some of that before it actually is released. Um, so LA, and it's LA in February. Yeah, what's not to like? So, yes, exactly. Although the people that are going to the show most likely live there, so they don't have to deal with the snow that we're getting right now. I know. So. That's so... Anyway, uh, LA Pen Show is going to be fun. Uh, it's, a, it's a bear to get out there, but once we get there, it's a, it's a good time. We yep. get to see our, our friends and 
Um, we're we'll actually see some cool pens and so on. I'm, I'm excited. We're taking a different route this time. We are. We're yeah. taking the southern route so. to try to escape some of the weather in the mountains. So there so. you go. Uh, do you know what? What is my watch is off? What does your watch say? What time is it? Which one is that? Is that your Bulova? This is the one I hate. The one you. <laughs> I bought it for him for Christmas, and it's big, it. and it. I just call it the what? I have a Seiko. Um, what time is it? It's time for booty call. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, Mr. Eric Orozco in the room. Hello, our, hello, hello. Eric Design. in the house. Our in-house studio, and he is getting the caller on the line. This is a, you want to play some booty call? I, I just got in the room. I don't know what was said before I got here. Do we, it's time for booty call. It's time call. for booty call. Oh, let's get it. Do we need to go over the rules? Speaker. We'll go over the rules with them. Hello? Yes, I'm looking for Eric. This is he. Eric, this is Eric, and this is Anderson Penns and your booty call. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing in front of Brian and Lisa, and I have all the hey, questions. Hey. He Hi, says hello. Eric. Um, first thing first, you have to choose a teammate. Is it going to be Brian or is it going to be Lisa? So I know Lisa won last time, so I'm going to pick Brian. Ooh, All right. Oh, thank it's God the Eric pressure's off. And Brian <laughs> and Lisa. So, Lisa, we're going to start with you. Oh, no. And I've got five sets of questions, so we've got five rounds. I want you to pick question one or two. You two. Two, number two. What company makes the ink called Aka Red, AKA Red? <laughs> uh, Tasha. Tasha is correct. Lisa Woo! has one point. Brian, in order to tie this thing up, please answer what company <clears throat> makes the ink called Summer Purple? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, oh, Kaweco. Kaweco is correct. Ooh, it's one and one. one. Eric, you do understand that if Brian gets it wrong, I will come to you for your uh, guess on yes. the answer. Yes. On to round two. Lisa, do you want question one or two? Two. In what city will you find the headquarters for Mont Blanc? Well, that's complicated. Isn't it, though? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the customer service Ooh. in New York? Do you no, want no, no, the no, distribution no. center in I'm Texas? I'm looking for the headquarters in Germany. They're in Germany. <laughs> the city. I want the city. I don't know. Can you name a city in, in Germany? Heidelberg. That is incorrect. <laughs> Berlin. <laughs> Brian, you can take the lead here, you and Eric. In what city will you find the headquarters of Lamy? Yeah, of Lamy. Um, don't you be Googling this, Eric. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't give me give my ideas. Um, I should know this. I'll give you as much hint as I gave Lisa. It is a city in Germany. Heidelberg. It is Heidelberg. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So uh, I don't know if I answered Mont Blanc. No. You said Heidelberg, though, didn't yes. you? Yes. It's, it's Hamburg. Yes, it is uh, Hamburg. Hamburg. Okay, okay, that's right. All right, Lisa, you need to, you need to win. You need to tie this up. Right. Do you want question one or two? One. What company makes a pen called the Durograph? Conklin. Very good. Woo! Lisa's back in the game. Oof. All right. Mr. Anderson. All right. What company makes a pen called the Mirage? Viscotti. Very good. Very good. He's doing well for you there, Eric, isn't he? Yes, yes. And what, what are we playing for? We are playing for a $20 gift Ooh. certificate to Anderson Pens. And you get bragging rights, or yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody does. We're on to the fourth of five questions. Mrs. Anderson, do you want question one or two? One. Oh. <laughs> okay. What right. was the full name of Mr. Parker, founder of the Parker Pen Company? George S. Parker. What's the S stand for? <laughs> <laughs> George. Ooh, 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 Ironically, ooh. can I give her a Schaefer. <laughs> <laughs> that would be ironic. Uh, it looks like Mr. Anderson, although it won't count, uh, would like to. Sanford. There's no N in it, though. Ah, you got it wrong. Oh. Safford. Oh. Safford. Safford. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, according to my research, we, we will research this more. Right. But well, it doesn't matter. 
I don't okay. Know. Schaefer would have been better. I would have been. Going on to the next question, it's for Mr. Anderson okay. and Eric. This is question four or five? This is question four okay. of five. Okay. In what year did Parker begin selling the Parker 51? 1941. Very good boy. Right off the top of his head. <laughs> the 51 was in 41? Why didn't they call it the 41? In what year did they complete uh, the design of it, though? Uh, I think I think the last year of production was 71. No, no. What year did they complete design of the 51 before its release? What year did they complete the design? Yeah. Well, it, the was part... It 39? It was 39. Do you know why? War effort? Uh, do you know why they call it the 51 if it was completed in 39? No, I don't. It's 51st it year. Though. 51st year anniversary because they uh, founded George S. Parker founded Parker in 1888 in what city? This is just fun now. Lisa. <laughs> Janesville. Janesville what? Wisconsin. Just down the street, isn't it? Just down the yes. street. All right. Uh, we have a fifth question. I can already tell you that uh, our booty caller has won because there's no way for Lisa to catch up. But Lisa, let's continue well, I the game. I could get this wrong. I could get mine wrong. It doesn't matter. You've got four, <laughs> she's got two. <laughs> You, you can get it wrong. Lisa, do you want question one or two? I don't want either if I'm <laughs> I'll take one. Okay. Ariel, the Disney mermaid princess. Oh my God. Yes. What color is her hair? Red. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I would have missed that. So. Woo! <laughs> well, I've got one for you too, Mr. Okay. Anderson. Name one, or both if you'd like, of the two Disney princesses that are left-handed. <laughs> what? Name a Disney left-handed, left -handed Disney name princess. a left-handed Disney princess. I would uh I Elsa. Would be, El, uh, who was that? Elsa? Uh, he, I think you said Elsa. Did you? Elsa, yeah. Uh, Elsa is not correct. <laughs> so, so Brian, you could you could steal this question. I I would I have I I confess that. Our children are older, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, okay, uh Mulan? And Tiana. Tiana was Tiana. Princess and the Frog was Tiana. And Mulan, okay. of course, was from a movie of her own name, Mulan. Yes. Uh, congratulations, Eric. You have won a $20 gift certificate to Anderson Pens. Uh, as soon as they say goodbye here, I'll call you back, and we'll get that all situated and squared away. Thank you for Sorry. playing. Did you have a good time? I, I had a great time. You know, we talked a lot about Parker 51, and I, I think you had one for sale recently. Did you sell it? I did, I did not sell it. You haven't sold it yet. Ooh. It's a good I one, too. I think it, it was a 1945, was it? It was a 40, 45 third quarter sterling silver cap. Oh, it's 45, 51? And it's a black one, right? Yeah, it's a black one. So it's a, a, a vacuum attic. Yes. All right. And it, it does have the, uh, the wartime uh, plastic filler, too. The wartime plastic okay, filler. Nice. <laughs> How do you like that? Yeah, I'm surprised that hasn't gone. All right. Um, I will call you back shortly, Mr. Eric. Thank you very much right, for playing. Sounds great. Thank you. Bye. 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 So now we're tied. We're one tied. One to one. Okay. We got to have like a little scoreboard in here or something. Oh, yeah. Or? That's a good idea. One to one. Of course, we don't want it to get too, you know, if you win too many, then people always choose you and they'll never choose me. I guess it depends on how many Disney questions are going to be. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that answer either. Oh <laughs> like they're left-handed? Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. How do you... Don't anyway. ask. Anyway. anyway. Well, that was fun. That um, was fun. Congrats. Shaking my hand. Uh, I'm not a sore loser. What else? Is there anything else we want to... Is that it? We hit the road? We're going to hit Jack? the road, okay. Jack. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, join us next week for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of fun videos, and other stuff. And check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Do you know we have a store Get out. in Chicago? Oh. It is on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton and open seven days a week. If you're in town, stop in, ask crazy questions, really make the staff work. Uh, website chicago.andersonpens.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and sign up for our mailing list. Yep. And uh, we'll see you next time or in LA. Bye.